Yo, what's up? So I've done a few things to the frame which I didn't film, uh, which I'm just going to show you now. Now the first thing I did was to weld these bolts to the frame. I'll just show you the underside. So this is the underside of the frame and you can see the two bolts here and the nuts been welded on and the bolt too. And what that basically means is there's a lot less hassle if I want to take the bearings off. The, and the other good thing is that the bolt can't come loose and fall out. Okay, so that's just something small but makes it easier. And you can see the holes in the bearings are elongated, if that's the right word. So there's a little bit of movement left to right. The other thing I did was, from the other side, so to speak, I welded on the bolts that hold the frame support. This is the rear rear ones, and that's the middle plate, and they both have these welded on. These nuts. I'll just turn the frame over. And sorry, almost forgot to mention that this is the front. So that is exactly the same. And like I say, it's good because the bolt can't come loose and fall through. So if worse came to worse, that would be wobbling about. It wouldn't be saying bye-byes. So that's good. So this is the frame upside down. And again, there's no chance of these bolts falling out. It's just not going to happen. I'm going to get the motor assembly and show you how it goes in. The camera may wobble. Hey, that wasn't too bad. And that's how it goes in. Okay, but because I've only got one nut on, I'm going to need a very thin spanner to be able to adjust it. Right, I'm just going to take the motor out again and flip it over and put the shaft on. I can't put them both on at the same time because I haven't got the tower pipe in there, which is going to go in here. Like so. But it will be on a plate which will make it adjustable. Sweet! Oh, my gloves keep getting stuck in the bolt holes. Yay! So now I'm going to put the shaft on. And the gears will sit here, correctly spaced above the generator. Worth noting that these bearings are a different thickness to the ones I used in the generator, so therefore we'll have to, we'll have to manually space it out. So, when the wind blows, the turbine goes, hopefully. I may eventually weld these on. I haven't decided yet. The beauty of bolting the... Sorry, I'm just going to zoom out a second. The beauty of bolting the brackets on, uh, not the brackets, the bearings, is that if you decide to uh, give up on this project, then you just take them off. The other good thing about it is I can take all three off and lift the shaft out all in one go if I want to. So yeah, they're, they're basically the things I did today. I'll concentrate on having a bit of a tidy up and getting everything sorted. I've got a list here of what I've got to do, so I just want to go through that. So here's the to-do list. I've got to attach the tower pipe to a plate, which will then fit on there, opposite end of the gears. Then I've got to weld some hinges onto the frame plate to make it so that the uh, tower can be adjusted, at, so the turbine can be adjusted at a four degree angle. Uh, I've got to make and attach some kind of sail. I've got to work out, uh, sorry, the chains. I've got to decide the size of the chain and cut and fit that. Uh, the motor assembly, I've got to drill holes in shaft either end for the collars to fit into. I've got to skim the stators with a grinder 
uh, which is something you do to reduce cogging. I've got to drill holes in the stator collars for the same thing to fit in the shaft and I've got to tidy up the wiring. Uh, the blade hubs, I'm still waiting for the discs to arrive so I can't do anything that. Uh, rotors, I need to weld the bearings etc again a little bit and while it's inside the shaft. Uh, then I've got to try and sort out the slight wobble. Now, about what ways to potentially, excuse me, to run this and so I've tried to do some drawings of the potential different ways. This, what you see here is at the top of the turbine. So the two stators, each three phases coming out to their own rectifier and going down the pipe, two separate DC uh, cables. Then we have this option here. And again, I don't know if this is gonna work. So these are the stators. So you've got phase one out of each stator joins onto a connector on the rectifier, phase two, and phase three so they're joined up to the rectifier and then you you'll theoretically have one DC output down the pipe uh, the third way I thought of was that you have two separate rectifiers and then join the DC outputs together so you've only got one set of wires coming down the pipe another way you could do it is you could have state one and state two with each three wires coming all the way down the pipe and having the rectifiers away from the turbine then I thought about this potential method, which is just to have the AC outputs of both uh, stators come down the pipe. So you'd have three wires. Could you connect them to one rectifier? Uh, also, in thinking about how to load the turbine, because you can't have it whizzing around on its own all day, can you? And this is the first idea I've come up with. There'll probably be more. This is quite simple. Is this? For, let's say we've got the rectifiers at the top of the turbine. Okay, which is unusual, but that's what I've done on my other turbine. Then you would basically have uh, the DC come off the first rectifier to a watt meter and then to a PWM motor controller, which I've referred to as power adjuster because I've forgotten what it was called at the time, and then a 300 watt 24 valve dump loads. That means for each motor, we could set how much power the dump load is going to use. And the good thing is we'll have a record of it because we've got two meters. Uh, so these are the power adjusters, which are actually PW and brush motor controllers. I've got to get two of them from Amazon, 11.39 each. And I've got to get two of the larger display meters, you know, the blue ones that are easier to look at because I'm fed up with trying to film those other ones. Uh, ah, yeah, sorry, that was just a list of some more stuff I've got to buy. Some stuff I might have to do to the tower is I might have to cut the top three to four feet off the top of the tower because I welded it on and it may well be bent over one way. Uh, I've got to check all the guy wires and fix anything. And I've also got a slight difference in the tower pipe's width that I've got and the tower, it's almost like I can't get the pipes to match exactly the same. So that's something else I'll have to do as well. So I know I need to hurry up and get this done, but I am, in a way, taking my time and I want it to be proper and good and very well welded, which at the moment it is. So yes, I'll be doing lots of work on the turbine tomorrow and uh, yeah, we'll get stuck into the bishbosh. Peace!